Hey guys, uh, this is going to be kind of the part two of my uh, Saber upgrade video series, if you want to call it that. Um, did a video a couple days ago on basically taking your empty Saber, specifically a Saber Forge Apprentice Series Saber, um, and turning it into a stunt Saber, adding an LED, a battery, and a switch. Um, if you do that and you kind of want to take the next step, uh, you don't want to fully commit to um, what I would call a professional level soundboard. It's something really high quality. Um, the Hasbro um, board is a good way to go. Um, the Blade Builder series, the current Blade Builder series, you can find for around $20 new. Uh, or if you're smart, you can check Goodwill and, and you know Craigslist, wherever used places, and try and find one cheaper if you're just going to be ripping it apart anyway. Uh, for this one, I, I paid 20 bucks and I bought it at Target just because I wanted to try it. And then, of course, I found one for $6 the next week at Goodwill. Uh, never hurts to have too many of them. It's a cheap, really easy way to upgrade your Sabre. And you're doing wiring that you can use down the road if you upgrade to a nicer board. Or if not, you know, it's at least you kind of know how you're going to set the Sabre up. So uh, I'm going to try and make this a, a somewhat quick video and just kind of run through it. Um, starting at the top. Um, oh, and by the way, this is the Obi-Wan Hasbro Blade Builder Saber. I think that all the boards are the same, but I'm not sure. And also this is going to be based on the blue LED that comes in the Obi-Wan Saber because I know that different LEDs have different voltages. So if you get um, you know the Luke one or the Vader one you're gonna need to use a multimeter to check the LED leads and see what the voltage is before you buy your resistor. Um, the Obi one seems to kind of be the most popular one people use for the sound boards uh, and so that's the one I got and that's what most of these figures are going to be for. So starting at the top the LED this is how I do my LED units and uh, you can have to sand it down to fit the one inch diameter just a little bit if you're using it in a Saber Forge Saber. And I, if I get, if, if you want me to do a video um, more detailed on how I do these, leave me a comment, uh, let me know, because I think these are a pretty handy little way to make a nice little LED unit. And it costs me like maybe $5 to do this, uh, which is significantly cheaper than if you buy one um, that's that's ready assembled. So you're gonna start with your LED. You're gonna need to resistor this for 3.25 volts. Um, that's what I got at the LED leads, which are right here on the board. And those are labeled LED plus for positive, LED minus for negative uh, on the opposite side, on the underside there. So really easy to see. Get yourself some desoldering braid um, in general for this project and, and disassemble all the wires that are on it. And then you can go with the LED plus and minus and that's where you're gonna wire your LED up. Um, as I've said before, I really highly recommend JST connectors, either this style here um, or got kind of one handy, these uh, smaller red style ones here makes everything so much easier, especially if you end up upgrading down the road. And if you did that originally, when you made a stunt saber, um, like I showed in my other video, this is gonna be just super easy. It's just gonna be unplugging um, and, and replugging. So LED, resistor that for 3.25 volts. Um, I'll leave a link uh, to a resistor calculator or an LED resistor calculator in the description. So you're gonna, have your LED go into your switch or to your board there, and then you're gonna need to change your switch from a latching switch um, that you had in your stunt saber, like this one. You're gonna need to swap that out for a momentary. So it's only gonna apply um, the current through it when you press it. And that's all you need for this board and most higher level boards um, are, are the same thing. I, I can't think of one that's gonna be a latching switch. So you're gonna need to swap that switch out. And like I said, if you had that connected through a, a JST connector, it's just a matter of swapping the, the switch on that connector. Um, and that's gonna go on the board that's labeled SW. There's two SW uh, 
spots on there and as far as I know the polarity doesn't matter on the switch uh, it's like I said it's just you press the switch it completes the circuit and uh, it, it powers the board so that's an SW and I believe that that is right here where these yellow wires are and it's labeled on the underside um, the speaker kind of uh, bypassing the battery for a second here the speaker is labeled SP and again there's two leads um, just follow those up for the the positive and the negative um, I don't believe it's labeled on the board I think it just says SP um, but this this is the speaker that I got from the, the saber I pulled it and just uh, follow the leads from the positive and negative and wire your black and red wires accordingly there's not really a reason to make this detachable but it never hurts and this speaker is a 16 ohm quarter watt speaker. So I don't know what options are out there for upgrading. Those are your specs. Um, the battery, this is the exact same battery that I ran in the Stunt Saber. It's just a three AAA pack um, from Harbor Freight from those cheap flashlights that I soldered leads to, putting out 4.5 volts, which is what this board takes when you buy it new. So you don't have to mess with anything. Um, I, I've ran it with four triple A's at six volts and it didn't seem to hurt anything but you may as well just you know keep it keep it the way that it was meant to be especially for a saber forge saber this will fit before triple A will not um, so that's that's pretty much it um, you go from your from your stunt saber um, just put your JST connectors swap some of the components out um, I use three quarter inch heat shrink and uh, this nicely fits over the board to protect it from shorting out on the inside of the blade or on the uh, the hilt um, I know that some people will cut a section of the blade off they'll use that um, you can make a custom chassis there's there's a million things you can do I just did this because this fits nicely in my one and a quarter inch sink tube saber here that I have this on right now um, and so that's that's kind of why I went that route but again uh, $20 and most of the supplies you should already have if you upgraded uh, to a stunt saber initially and uh, you've got sound and it, it doesn't sound half bad it's not going to be as loud here um, on the camera but uh, I, I think for the price it's not too bad considering like this one that I've shown in the back of my other videos my uh, nano biscotti is significantly more expensive yes it's a much nicer soundboard but if you're going on a budget you could buy your empty hilt and upgrade it with sound and everything for a hundred bucks if you do it right so really highly recommend uh, if you're on a budget and you want sound, because we all know that having a soundless stunt saber gets old pretty fast and you end up making the sounds with your mouth and just kind of look weird. So a uh, great way to just add some cheap sound. And, and I've had this in a few different sabers, homemade and swapped it around because there's the JST connectors that makes it really easy. And uh, it's just a durable board that can take a lot of abuse. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, um, shoot me a, uh, a comment and I'll do my best to answer it. Like I said, it's it's pretty straightforward once you look at the board. They label these really, really well. Just make sure you're, you're pretty confident in your soldering and desoldering abilities. These boards are not the most durable as far as taking heat. They can take a lot of abuse, but when you're soldering, it's really easy to kind of mess stuff up, um, you know, because they've already been kind of roughly, uh, probably electronically or robotically or whatever uh, soldered. So um, anyway, yeah, if you have any questions, please, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, and uh, like I said, if I get enough feedback, um, enough people that are interested, uh, I'd love to do a quick video on how to assemble a nice, easy LED unit. So thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, like, comment. Appreciate all the feedback and watching. Thanks.